Very recently, I wrote a book about applying agile to industries such as engineering, construction, and hardware, as well as other linear industries. And the business case is this: a lot of organizations have shut their minds to thinking about agile being applied to their industries, like engineering, architecture, and so on. But We need to be careful with the word agile because this term has permeated the lexicon of industries far and wide, and it often finds itself ensnared in a web of misunderstanding. Many with good intentions seek to grasp the essence of agile, but they find themselves entangled in the trappings of methods and frameworks and processes and tools. But agile is. Not an end in itself; it's a means to an end. It's a profound realization that beckons us as professionals to go deeper into the true nature of agility. So, when we embark on this intellectual odyssey, we uncover that agile is not a mere collection of practices. To be implemented is not about the tools. It's not about the jiras. It's not about the confluences. It's not about the version ones. It's the mindset. It's a philosophical approach to work and life. First and foremost, agility is the ability to adapt and respond to change. Agile organizations view change as an opportunity, not a threat. A perspective that transcends industries and sectors. Including the linear realms of construction, engineering, and hardware. My first degree was in civil engineering. My second degree was in construction information technology. So I see construction as an opportunity to be even more agile. You need to ask yourself, as a business professional, or as an engineer, or as someone in the hardware industry, how can I? Break my work down in such a way that value delivery is paramount. You see, a lot of detractors may argue with a lot of conviction that the incremental delivery of value, which is a cornerstone of agile philosophy, is impossible in these industries. But you know what the problem is? These people are thinking about value as a deliverable. They're missing the point. They point to tangible, concrete steel, and they say, "Well, there you go. Agile cannot tread in this environment because we cannot deliver in increments. You cannot deliver half of a building." Now, while this argument is rooted in the realities of the industries, these people miss the mark. Value is in the eye of the beholder, and in this, we find the key to unlocking agile's potential across all domains. You see, value in its multifaceted glory is not confined to the delivery of a product or a component or a widget. It is time reclaimed. It is cost saved. That's what value is. Value is even satisfaction achieved. It's Awareness being heightened, it's the customer being assured that quality standards are being met in the work you're doing, even before the work comes to completion. So value is both tangible and intangible; it's monetary and non-monetary. And the main goal of agile is not delivering a deliverable, but delivering value. We need to get that straight. And when we deliver value, We're talking about the net quantifiable benefits, the net quantifiable benefits that a customer experiences. This is a paradigm shift that challenges us to rethink, to rethink our approach to work in these industries, to embody agility, my friends, to be truly agile. Our focus must shift from the delivery of parts of a solution. To the relentless pursuit of value delivery, value delivery is so important. This is the crucible of agile transformation, my friend. A journey which is fraught with challenges, yet、yeah, rich 
with rewards. See, agility requires a shift in mindset, not just a change in practices. Anyone can say, well, I'm using Jira now, but that doesn't mean you're truly agile. Anyone can say, well, I'm using a Kanban board. Yes, but that is not the key to being agile. You see, this is a truth that becomes self-evident as we navigate the complexities of applying agile principles in hardware, applying agile mindedness in construction and engineering. You see, the question then transforms from how can we deliver a part of the solution to how can we deliver value at the end of each iteration, regardless of the industry. In instances where we're working a solution that is truly rigid, we need to change how we're thinking. You cannot change the product, but you can change your thinking. You can change your thoughts as far as how to deliver value. Because there are going to be instances where a working solution is an impossibility. But we must not retreat, my friend. We must not retreat declaring Agile is not fit for our industry or domain. Instead, we must persevere. Delivering value in other forms, schematics, drawings, information, progress updates. How about letting the customer have a virtual walkthrough of what you are creating? Stop thinking rigidly. Many people think rigidly about MVP. There are going to be instances where you cannot deliver a tiny chunk, but you can deliver a proof of concept. It could be a wireframe. It could be a virtual walkthrough. Content-rich virtual reality. Demonstrating to the client that we are on the right path. You see, Agile is a journey. It's not a destination. It's a journey that requires us to approach each project with a mindset of value delivery and continuous improvement. It's not about adorning our companies or our business units or ourselves with a label of agile. It's about enhancing our way of working, being as agile as possible, delivering unparalleled value and benefits and adopting a fluid dynamic approach that opens a world of possibilities. You see, the customer is the ultimate arbiter of value. And in this, we find our true north, my friends. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of value. Keyword, where it can be valuable product, even better. Our relentless pursuit of value coupled with an unwavering commitment to seeking the customer's feedback, not just at the iteration review or the demo, but consistently bringing them in whenever we have the opportunity. It is this, my friends, that ensures we are not just on a path, but on the right path. We talk about MVP. MVP is all about feedback. So Agile, in its truest form, my friends, is a mindset. And I believe that wholeheartedly. This is why I wrote the book, Agile is a Mindset. And that is why I wrote the book about Agile in Hardware. And the book is titled, Agile in Hardware, Engineering, Construction, and Linear Environment. Because it is about the thinking, my friends. It is not about the doing. It is primarily the thinking. The doing follows. Thinking, mindset, drives your behavior. When you have the thinking down pat, you'll find yourself on auto-agile. So, again, agile in its truest form, my friends, is a mindset, it's a way of thinking, and being that, when embraced, it has the power to transform not just our projects, but our very lives. Thank you, my friends. It's your buddy Phil here. Go check out the book if you're in the construction industry. Check out the book. I'm going to put a link below. This is going to help with your thinking, and it's going to help organizations who are closed-minded 
to begin to think about Agile as an opportunity again. Many of our clients in the world of oil and gas and engineering and architecture, even fire safety equipment, have found this out for themselves. And they've gone over to the bright side, the Agile side. 